This bell was rung 19 times and names were listed. One for every firefighter who lost their life in the line of duty in Arizona. Even though we don't know them directly, um, I think most people could say that when they heard that news, you know, they felt a, a kind of a, a heavy heart, if you will. You know, even though we may not know them, I think it's important for the families to know, and I think the families do know that all across this country, people are remembering them, not only the, the sacrifices that their family members made, but remembering the family themselves and, and the things they're going to be going through in, in the many years to come. This memorial service is about more than just remembrance for those individuals, but for firefighters everywhere who put themselves in harm's way every day. Whether we want to admit it or not, in firefighting and emergency services in general, we're all connected in some way, and any time there's a loss in the family, we, we all feel it. These vigil candles behind me represent three of the 19 fallen firefighters who died in Arizona. They will take eight days to burn, which also represents the eight days it will take to bury the fallen heroes. They are an example of humility and care for uh, humanity. Uh, they live the mandate to offer yourself in sacrifice for others. No matter who or what happens among the firefighters, we all share in their joys and we also share in their sorrows. And this is a way that we can bring the whole community together. The whole country basically is, is doing this and shows that we belong to a much larger family than here in Quincy. Megan Townley, KHQA News, Quincy.